Hello everyone, my name is Mark Edward Blanton with The Real South Africa. And I am Dr. Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. We have an amazing group trip that you will be interested in. It's with the African Diaspora News Channel. A great YouTube channel gives you great information about what's going on in Africa. But well, we have a group trip featuring Phil Scott, the host. And the trip is going to take place on March 16th to the 25th. It's going to go to Johannesburg and Cape Town, and yes. it's in 2022. If you're interested in traveling, please send an email to info at therealsouthafrica.com. And we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. Grace and peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillard, your sister with the curly braids, and I'm so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share this broadcast with the world. Thank you so very much. Now, family, let me tell you something. I want y'all to watch this brief clip from Fox News. Now, y'all know Fox News is a fox and how they act slick and sly. And really, you know, we had to discover that some of the other white media conglomerates were, you know, anti-black in many ways. But Fox News has been consistently open with their white supremacy. So whenever they bring on black people and stuff like that, they always have an angle um, and they know how to pander to their audience and their audience knows how to pick up their dog whistles. Y'all, I want y'all to watch this brief clip. Um, I just want to put up this quote from Martin Luther King, and I've heard you talk about Martin Luther King um, versus Malcolm X, and you said that he, you know, was an anomaly, Martin Luther King. Um, he said, let us be dissatisfied until that day when nobody will shout white power, when nobody will shout black power, but everybody will talk about God's power and human power. Do you agree with that? I love the Lord. And my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is the most famous black radical revolutionary in history. And he was treated just like Dr. King. He was uh, arrested on occasion and he was also cru crucified or mm -hmm. assassinated. This is what happens to black activists. We are killed by the government. Well, and, and if you need context, if you read your Bible, it'll say that Jesus had feet like burnt brass and hair like wool. I don't know if you notice, but our hair seems to be more like wool and we seem to be uh, likened to that color than anyone. Somebody say God today. Somebody say God today. Did you hear the brother tell her that I love the Lord? Did you hear our brother break down to her that the real Jesus looks like us and is us. Somebody talk black to me. You all know every time Fox News and those other outlets quote Dr. King and other uh, powerful black folk um, that were about uh, black justice and black liberation and freedom and stuff, you know they do it to calm black folks down. They, they only highlight the calm areas or the areas that excuse white people or make us look the same. Just like that quote she just read, Dr. King said, when nobody was shout white power or black power. Slowness, he was saying nobody shouting white power because white power was said, they were saying white power because white power meant white supremacists and no other power can exist. When our people were saying black power, they were saying black power, meaning let's rise up and stop being under the foot of the oppressors. Talk black to me. Dr. King was saying it was necessary to say uh, black power to fight against white supremacists that was chopping off body parts, setting us on fire, destroying us, stealing from us, enslaving us and all manner of evil against us slowness. They love to say the stuff that make it look makes it look equal. And they love to invoke Dr. King's name when they have a demonic, diabolical angle at it. I'm so glad he told him how much we love. He loves the Lord. And we're talking about that black revolutionary Jesus whose energy is still alive in us, through us, and by us. Talk black to me, family. When you fool with folks like me, and especially when you tap into my metaphysical spiritual courses and classes and masterminds, I'm going to teach you about the real Jesus, and I'm going to help you decode the cipher, the algorithm, and the riddles that are lodged within scripture. You cannot be taking the interpretations of the Bible and accept the tamperings of scripture without understanding and knowing what your open enemy did it to weaponize the Bible against you. The reason the Bible is powerful is not just because 
uh, 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 we call it the Bible, it's because there are still energetic spiritual uh, stories that were stolen or you could say borrowed from other black spiritual systems that are utilized in what you call the Bible today. And in fact, I can take you further with helping you to understand what your ancestors are, who your ancestors are, your royal bloodline and who the true Christ is. There are so many invisible barriers that our black society is experiencing, but we too often don't know what these invisible barriers are. So in the spirit, I'm going to highlight that to show you the power of your cells, the power of your bloodline, the power of your melanin. We're going to take it even further for my January 2nd, 2022 webinar activation. You can get your seat today at onpurposewithvicky.com. Go to my store. The link is below. There are things that the government knows about you, the elite know about you, NASA knows about you, that you don't know about you. There's stuff, you're looking at powerful people, how they have so much wealth and glory and stuff, but you don't understand that these are spiritual gems that they're tapping into that were always yours. They twisted them, turned them, gave them a new name, and then talk, talk, told you that they were of the devil so that you would never even inquire about your own power. These are divine rights that have always been ours. And I know that people around the world are watching me right now. And we have a very, very large international audience. And my people that are a part of the diaspora, I want you to know that what I'm teaching you can help to begin to heal your nation. See, we cannot operate in the same type of manner and the same patterns because the medicine for black America and the black world is not the same as the oppressive class. It's not the same as any of the other melanated people that are out there. Our medicine is different. We're more than what meets the eye. Our spiritual multidimensional body system extends beyond earth. We are dynamic and we have multiple moving parts. So if you want to heal and clean up your royal bloodline spiritually and metaphysically, and then if you want to have access to some spiritual wealth codes that the average person doesn't have because I'm bringing on a black spiritual man that's going to unleash sacred secrets, then you want to go to unpurposewithvicky.com and get your seat today, January 2nd, 2022. Start the year off right. How many of you all know that a farmer sows seeds, but he doesn't get his harvest until later, until a different season? Sow the seed in the beginning of 2022 so that you can ensure that the rest of your year is blessed. We're in a global pandemic. You want the blessings. We're in uh, your family, your children. Some of you are concerned about the influences of your children. This is for you. Some of you are concerned about uh, uh, curses and shameful things that some of your family and loved ones have been involved in and you want to begin to address some of those things, this is for you. Some of you want to be blessed materially and spiritually. You want to know your purpose and your assignment. This is for you. Don't you dare let some demon tell you that your ancestors are somehow demonic. Your ancestors are passcode. They're a password for the magic that's in your bloodline. You don't want to miss this, baby. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com, unpurposewithvicki.com. Start the new year off right. Make sure that you invest for yourself, your family, and loved ones, and you tell everybody else about it to be there as well. Start the new year off right. January 2nd, 2022. Your life will never be the same. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.